everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with Blue Zion. It's a 55 by 55 by Diamond Art Club. We're gonna start with DMC 823 and it's the L sign on my painting. Now I have to apologize. I had to put my dishwasher on this morning. So the dishwasher's going. I need to do laundry too, but I figured that I can wait till after. And I just do my uh, whip and chat because that needs to go up tomorrow morning. Today's September 3rd. I almost said Monday, but it is not Monday. It is Tuesday. Mom messed up because yesterday was Labor Day and everyone was home. So it kind of messes me up a little bit. But talk a little bit about uh, what we did on the weekend, what were her, our plans and what actually ended up happening. So we were going to go to um, a, a water park here in our city and it ended up being super gross. Like it was cloudy all day and it was cold. So then you add going to a water park and getting all drenched and being cold all day and you actually pay to do that? Uh, no, so we probably, that means that we won't go to that water park this summer, but we'll go next summer. I mean, we should have planned for earlier on in the summer, but we just did so much this summer. There's so much to do. Um, and then it's like you, if you do one thing, then you kind of sacrifice other stuff. Like we did a lot of camping this summer. So we, you know, usually we go to the drive-in quite a bit. We didn't go to the driving a lot this summer. Uh, as a matter of fact, we went one time and it was this weekend. So that was one of the things that was planned that we were going to do. And we ended up doing, so that was fun. We, um, we had Mason, so it was me, Mason and Dave, my husband, and then my youngest daughter, um, Caitlin and her husband, the one that got married last year, they um, came with us in their own vehicle. They parked like right next to us and they brought their newer dog, Louis, stayed over at our house and he got to hang out with, with Ace, which to him that would have been way more, way more fun, right? <laughs> than sitting in, he doesn't like vehicles. so. For him to sit in a vehicle all that time, he had way more fun staying home, playing with Louie, and then Josh, Josh was home, so, um, and so we had to leave at 7, I think it was 7.15, yes, because we got there exactly at 7, 7.30 when they were opening, so we got the exact spot that we wanted, so that was good. And then what we do is, um, cause it was a whole hour before the movie started. So we ended up, we had a, a ball in the truck and Dave and Mason just played catch for an hour. And the little puppy, my daughter got a new Chihuahua. And when she got him, he was 1.13 pounds. And she's had him for three weeks and he's now 2.6 pounds. Now his full weight is supposed to be four pounds, but I don't know. <laughs> I think he's gonna be a big chihuahua. Um, Cause Louie, which is her first dog, was supposed to be seven pounds and he is 16 pounds. And he doesn't look that, like he doesn't look like a chunky dog. He's just, he grew bigger than they said he would. But you know what? I think unless they're purebreds, it's it's really which the Chihuahua is. Uh, Louis isn't. He's a, a mix, uh, a shipu, so half Chihuahua, half Poodle, and like Ace, he's a Golden Doodle, so half Golden Retriever and half a giant Poodle. I think that's the key right there. It, I just saw an L. Where did I see it? 
and when we bought Ace, they told us he was going to be about 60 pounds, 65 pounds, you know, like medium-sized dog. Mm, no, the dog weighs like between 80 and 90 pounds, and he's a big dog. I must have dreamed. I must have dreamt that L because I don't see it now. And that usually, this is why you'll see me like I'll do this. And then I'll go get the drill and put it on because a lot of times I'll see something and then I go get my drill and then I don't see it. Watch, I'll put everything back in and then I'll find it. Oh, well. Next, we'll do A's. There's quite a bit of A's there. And that's DMC 890. And that one is like a forest green. So pretty. So it's fairly early in the morning. I think, is it nine? I think it just is nine. And I woke up at eight. I watched a few YouTube videos. I don't like to wake, actually they say it's not good to do that. Wake up and just like sprint out of bed. And uh, so anyway, I just kind of woke up nicely, watched a few YouTube videos. Um, there's a readathon coming up. It's called a contemporary a, a thon. And um, so I was just looking at everybody's TBRs. And, you know, this is the beginning of September. So everybody's putting up their September TBRs. And then there's also my favorite videos are, you know, what's coming in September, like book releases in September. I love those. Now I've told myself I'm not gonna get as many books anymore. I hope that I can <laughs> keep to it. It's hard because there's just so many good books coming out and I know I can't read all the books. I think what I'll need to do is make myself a list of all the books that I really like and then make it you know, so that, which I, I think I'm pretty good at that. I usually get them when they're on sale. Like I don't pay full price, but a lot of times like Amazon will put them at 40% off, which is really good. So I'll get them at 40% off or I get them on book outlet. So I like looking at those videos cause there's, you know, then quite a few titles that I can, that I can put on my radar. So I think today I'm going to finish off uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I thought I was going to finish that in August, but it didn't happen. I'm having my coffee right now, so whew, it's so good. Every morning I do, I, we got to start keto again. We're going to start this week. Uh, it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow. So she wants um, this recipe that I make uh, called sesame chicken. It is so good, but of course it's made with noodles. And um, so it's not keto friendly, <laughs> but it's her birthday. So um, I'll make it. My husband's gonna pick up the ingredients tonight and then we'll cut everything up and then tomorrow morning, I'll just get up and you have to marinate the chicken for a few hours. So I'll get up and do the sauce and marinate the chicken for, you know, seven or eight hours. I might do the sauce tonight and just marinate it overnight. Ooh, that would be good. Um, and then it takes, cause you have to cook it in your wok. It takes uh, about, because we always make a crazy amount. Um, I usually start around three and it's usually ready at six. So it takes me three hours of constant cooking. Like it's not like you put it on and you watch it. Like you, you gotta keep cooking the chicken, you gotta cook a 
whole bunch of noodles. Again, it's because we make a crazy amount. Um, but then we'll have it. I'll probably give some to her to bring home. And uh, so she'll have some for going to school and stuff. And then we'll have some for a day or so of leftovers. Which is good. But it's so good. Uh, it's actually called sesame chicken salad, but there's nothing salady about it at all. <laughs> and it's, it's, you know, supposed to be a side dish, but believe me, it is a full meal. Like you are full when you finish this. It's so good though. So, so good. Okay. So today I'd like to finish this. I don't know how, uh, if I'm gonna be able to do it all right now in one sitting because my daughter is on her way over and she's gonna spend the day here, the one that it's her birthday tomorrow. It's her last day before she goes back to college, but Mason has school today. So she's gonna come and spend the day and we're gonna make some bath bombs and, and maybe some soaps, maybe a couple batches of soaps. And then just fun stuff. She bought a bath bomb press, so we're gonna try that out. And then I bought some things to make bath bombs too, like it's not a press, but it's supposed to be make your life easier. So I'll probably give it a try too, just to see. So that'll be a day filled. So that's why I thought I'd do this, because then while we're doing our things, I can just get it to upload and then upload it to YouTube for tomorrow. I like to be a, a day ahead. It's hard, it's hard to do, but I'd like to try. I released my class on Saturday, so that is done. And I'm gonna do, um, I have another class that's gonna be October 1st, and that is a favorite uh, of mine, but also of a lot of people, it's I call it Scrapathon, and it's a layout a day for the entire month. So that's 31 layouts. So that I got to start plugging away at that one. Okay. So yeah, so I'll probably go until my daughter gets here. I still have, I got the dishwasher on, but of course, there's still some stuff that you gotta wash by hand. So I'm gonna do that. Oh my goodness, I have to I have to tell you guys what happened. So yesterday, my husband, they were calling for rain. They're calling for rain all day today too. Although it's not raining right now, the sun is kind of peeking out, so. Um, so our lawn was due to be mowed. So we have a ride-on lawnmower that we got him this year. And so he's out there and we had just, I hate that. I hate that, that it's almost like you jinx it. But we had had a conversation about a week ago because we were driving by, we were in town and this guy was um, using a whipper snipper. And instead of facing away from the road, he was facing the road 
and a rock flew and hit our window. My window was uh, maybe a quarter of the way down, but if my window would have been all the way down, it would have hit me in the head with the rock. That would not have been good. <laughs> So we were talking about like, why do you do that? Like, why do you face the traffic? Like face the other way, like that could have been bad. He One, one he could have broke our window and two, he could have hit me and that could have been really bad. And um, so anyway, my husband is doing the lawn and he comes in, he goes, I need your help. He's like, okay, what'd you do? He was facing the wrong way as he was getting closer to vehicles and he smashed the back window in her Kia. Yeah. I was, I didn't say anything. I was, I was just like, I just looked and I was like, actually I said, oh, for the love of Pete. Anyway, I had to hold, hold the door for a few minutes until he went and got some stuff because there was glass everywhere. So now we gotta buy a window for our truck or SUV. So that was our day yesterday. Not impressed. So stuff like that, I know it, sh it shouldn't stress me out, but it totally does, totally does. It, there's just been quite a few things in the last little bit that's been really, really stressful. So it's like, oh, I don't know if I can handle one more thing. <laughs> just not one more thing, I can't do it. Can't do it. So yesterday was a pretty stressful day. For a bit, we thought maybe we might go to the zoo, but then uh, we didn't end up doing it. Just too much, too many things to do, and then not enough weekends, I guess. So. So what we're hoping to do this weekend is, um, it's about almost an hour from here, a little city called uh, Sussex. They have a balloon festival every year. And when the kids were young, I think we went like four or five years in a row. We did that for four or five years and the kids loved it, absolutely loved it. And then we just, you know, we stopped going it's like I said, you just, you can't do everything. We did a lot of stuff with our kids, different stuff. And it's, it's kind of cute because now Jess, she's trying to do all the things now with Mason. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to put up my painting so I can do the other A's. Oops. She's trying to do a lot of this stuff that we did with them as kids. Trying to do it with Mason. So I think we're gonna, if it's nice, I'm not going there if it's not nice. <laughs> it's a waste of money. Uh, if it's nice, we're gonna go with her and Mason and go to the balloon festival. That's next Saturday. So we'll be doing that. That'll be one more, one more fun thing that we'll have done this summer. I just need to eh, there. Tack it down so it doesn't move around. Tack the diamond painting down. Okay. So that's 
our plans for this upcoming weekend. Um, I got to work on Sunday. I go back to work. I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So Sunday, Monday day, and then Tuesday night. So that's good. It's only it's my rotation that I have four shifts or three shifts, not four. So, yay! <laughs> Very happy about that. It's funny now when. I only have to do a four shifts in a row once every nine weeks, but man, I feel it. Feel it. Okay. Ooh, there was a lot of A's, but that's gonna finish that section really good. It'd be nice if I could get this section done today before my daughter gets here. It'd be nice if I could finish that and then finish my dishes that I have to wash by hand. That'd be awesome. If not, when she gets here, I'll tell her, you start measuring the stuff for the first bath bomb recipe and I'll do the dishes because we need the sink cleaned up because there's a lot of washing of dishes when you're making bath bombs. So we'll be and soaps making handmade soaps oh there's so much stuff to wash and last night after the breaking of the window i just i started feeling sick like that's what i mean by i shouldn't let it get to me but it gets to me so what we're hoping is that we'll be able to get um, I call junkyards and if they have Kias there, we can just, you know, buy a window off a car that was written off. You know, the windows are still good. There's no sense buying a new one. Might as well just get a second-hand one as long as it doesn't have cracks we should be good and my husband can install it he said oh yeah I can install that so hopefully it's not too too much Here we go this section here left with the A's. I'm kind of glad I did the A's first because, or the second one, but at the very beginning, so I can get this. Of course, I put my phone that it's covering how long I've been recording. funny because it seems that my whipping chats are like always over an hour and my diamond paint with me are like 35 40 minutes and I don't know if it's because this I'm so close to the end that I'm like if I just do a little bit more just a little bit more I gotta finish that section but when you're at the beginning of a diamond paint it's like oh you just got so much not that it's a race, but. There. I wonder if my coffee's still warm, if it's cold. A little cold. Oh, good. So yeah, I want to 
go on the treadmill tonight or today, but I don't know how long my daughter's gonna stay here. And it was either getting this done or going on the treadmill and I think. Okay, so that was my daughter saying that she's on her way soon. She's packing up and then she's on her way. So she lives 20 minutes away. So that gives me a little bit of time to get a little bit more done. She gets here and I'm, you know, not close to an hour. I can do that part like the next day, like tomorrow, and then just upload everything tomorrow. But I, I kind of like to finish it today. Okay, not finish the whole diamond painting, but the, the video. Okay, so the A's are done, so yay. So now I think I'm gonna do the V's and then that way it'll finish kind of the bottom of that and it'll feel like I got that done. So the V is 991. The MC991, and it's a, oh, it's a nice turquoise. I like it. I like it a lot. This. Okay, so since the last time I did a video, I finished the Simple Wild and Oh My Lanta by K.A. Tucker. I mean, a lot of people were saying how good it was and everything. And it is, it is a uh, adult contemporary with some romance in it, but it's also hard hitting. The last, I don't know, 50 pages, 75 pages, I think. I was bawling the whole time. <laughs> but it's so good. There's so many things that happen in there that I could totally relate to. I'm not going to say what because of spoilers, but oh, yeah. It made me cry. And I only have like 40 pages left of the lightning thief but I just I just couldn't finish it in time because I was releasing my class and there was just too much to do and then by the time I finished all that um, then I was exhausted I, I watched uh, shadow hunters instead and then Saturday night, oh yeah, I forgot, Saturday night, my sister-in-law, which she just lives down the road from me, she always does a family party year for her anniversary. It's always the long weekend in September. So we went there, it was about seven o'clock at night by the time we went there and we just came home. It was like midnight, it wasn't too, too late, but it was late enough. And then, so that was Saturday, went to bed. It was like midnight, one o'clock. It was one o'clock by the time I went to sleep because um, I watched a little bit of Shadow Hunter or Shadow Hunters on Netflix before I went to sleep. And then Sunday night, we went to the drive-in. When we got home, it was one o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm gonna do Y, which is $7.97. I was exhausted. It was good though. We went, it was Lion King in Toy Story 4. I have to say, I didn't enjoy Toy Story 4 as much as when the kids were little. And I think it's because I was tired. Like it was so late by the time that that movie you know, start it. And be because the night before we went to bed late, I was just like, oh, I don't want to be here. It was still cute. Uh, you know, still enjoyed it. We're sitting next to my daughter and when the movie finished, she opened her door and she's like, I'm bawling my hair, my eyes out. <laughs> For Toy Story. 
Anyway, so and Mason enjoyed it. So, and he stayed up the whole time. I was impressed. Although he said, oh, as soon as we get home, Nami, I'm going right to bed. <laughs> I don't know, usually go, kids go, I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. He goes, oh, as soon as we get home, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. So it was good. It was our first and probably only time going to the drive-in this year. And I'd like to go more because I want to support them. Because they they already closed before. There was they closed for they closed their door. Oh, I'm sure it was three or four years. And people petitioned and people like you know to get them to open their doors again. So I think people now try to go a little bit more to make sure that they don't close. Look at that, I forgot an A. They don't close their doors again. We were gonna go another time, it was Aladdin, but I ended up, I was sick, so. We didn't go. And I think they're open till the, usually they would always close their doors um, this long weekend. That was their big last hurrah or whatever, and it, they were done, but they actually go till the end of September now which next weekend, there is no way I would go <laughs> to drive in. It's it too. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 not happening. I am not someone who can go see scary movies. I just can't. I can't read scary books. I just can't do it. So, not gonna happen. I want to support them, but and and then a lot of the movies this summer, I was like, ugh, like they didn't interest me. I don't know if they didn't release as many good movies, or I don't know. But, but like I said, it seems that you do a lot of one thing or another so this summer we did a lot of camping which means you're away right so it's kind of hard to do stuff around and that the drive-in here is only open friday saturday sunday so um it doesn't you don't have a lot of the options when i was growing up there was a drive-in that was like 10 minutes. Okay, so I had to stop the recording because my son came out of his bedroom. Um, I think what I was talking about was the driving. We, when I was a young adult, well, when I was a kid too, but it was still open when I was a young adult. Um, the drive-in up where I used to, you know, used to live when I was growing up, that drive-in was open seven days a week. And at the beginning, uh, beginning of the summer, they would give you, like when you would go back then, you know, Facebook wasn't a thing or anything like that. So they would give you a printout of the entire summer. They had already kind of figured out what they were going to pay or play for the whole summer. So we would, uh, and they would play the same movies, let's say, Sunday to Wednesday, and then on Thursday would be a new release. And so we would go every single time that new movies would be released. So I went to the drive-in a lot. This was when I was like 20, 25, was it? Yeah, 25. Me and my girlfriend would go every single new release. So I went to the movies or the drive-in a lot. So it's just nostalgic for me for the drive, you know, to go to the drive-in and stuff. And I wanna I wanted Mason to experience that because who knows how long 
it's going to stay open for, right? But it was pretty full. Like, I took a picture and posted on Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I have it linked in the description box below. Um, and it was, I mean, we got there an hour before, so we were one of the first people there. But I, we wanted to be able to park next to my daughter. So, and we wanted to be, because they have rows that, you know, SUVs and stuff can park. And we wanted to be the that first row in the front because she has a car. So then she was able to park right next to us and still see the movie and not have a big SUV in front of her, a big truck. Uh, okay, I think I'm done the whys. So now I might have to bring it down again. Because I think, oh, come on. With one diamond just being a pain. Yeah, I need to bring it down because I want to finish this. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. I want to finish this and that is, what is that? 550, I think. Yes. Which is, oops, purple. Be great if I could finish that, that section before she got here. That would be awesome. So let me know, do you have a drive-in in, in your area? I think they're so cool. I don't think there's that many left open. The one in my, the city, the one that I said that I was open seven days a week, they're closed now. And um, we're lucky, like we have one here. And then in the city where I said there's the balloon festival in Sussex, which is 45 minutes away, which, I mean, it would be a long trip to go uh, compared to we're literally, you know, 10 minutes from the drive-in right now. So it's, you know, we can decide at the last minute and, and just go. Um, but we still have that option. And it's funny because uh, when we go to Niagara Falls, I don't know if that one there is still open, but there was one close to our campground. And when the kids were growing up and we'd go to Niagara Falls, we'd, uh, we'd take a night and we'd go to the drive-in there. So I think it's fun to experience that kind of stuff. Now we're making plans for stuff that we want to do for the fall. So we want to do that um, Sussex Balloon Festival. We want to go apple picking. We do that every year. And what we do is go and take family pictures too. So we kind of have to coordinate it a long time in advance because, you know, all the kids are older and have lives. <laughs> and then they also want to do the corn maze. That's about an hour away from here. There's a huge corn maze. It's the size of nine football fields. And it's awesome. We did that a lot when the kids were young too. So now it's like they want to redo everything that we did when they were kids. So we'll do T, which is 939. Oops, that's empty. There's a little bit left here. Oof, there's not a lot. Hope I don't run out. This is what I have left. Not a lot. I think I should be okay. I don't see a lot of, there's T's there and T's here, but I don't see like a ton left on the diamond painting. Um, so yeah, they wanna go to the corn maze. So we wanna do that this year. And like I said, this summer we went camping at Mactaquack and it was so nostalgic because when the kids were younger, I think the last time we went there, Josh was six, but we would go there for two weeks. Oh, it was so relaxing because there's not much to do. So it was just hanging out and, you know, just cooking meals and 
bonfires and swimming and hiking and it was nice. And it was nice this summer too. It was nice and relaxing. And we went tubing twice. That was fun. We hadn't done that in years. And then this year we did it twice. So we, I mean, we did a lot of stuff. You just can't do all the things. <laughs> we wanted to go to Magic Mountain too. And we wanted to take Mason to the zoo. Which we didn't take him to the zoo last year. And we didn't take him to the zoo this year. Which is sad. Hopefully we'll take him again next year. Next year, actually, where we'd like to take him is the Toronto Zoo. That'd be awesome. Toronto Zoo. That'll be a lot of fun. Lot of fun. Can you see there? Yeah, there's a few teas there. Since I have it open, you might as well get these done. And then when I do that section, I won't have to do the teas. I'm happy. That's pretty much done. I got like two left there. Tease. I don't know if it's just my canvas, but this canvas is not clear at all. Like the tees, they're not very clear. Might be because it's like blue on white, I don't know. But it's it's fuzzy. You know, it's not that it's light, it's it's fuzzy. Even the L there. It's like it's like the printer was running out of ink or something. So it might just be mine. I don't think you can see that anymore. Okay, so we'll stop there. I think that's pretty much I should have finished it because it's I think it's pretty much all the T's on the canvas. What? Okay, I'm just gonna bring that up and finish those tees because I think that's it. And I was kind of nervous about running out, so since I had the opportunity to just get them finished, I think the rest, if there's any, it'll be like just one or two here or there printed like these so blurry so so blurry okay two more teas like I said I think this is it what what Oh, I see one right there. Like I think the rest, if there's any, it's gonna be like a single one, which is good because I don't have a lot left. Not a lot of diamonds left. Okay, so this is what I have left. I think I don't have any more. Like I said, it might be one or two here or there, but there's no more big chunks of teas. So, yeesh. I mean, there's enough. That's all that matters, right? But that was close. <laughs> too close for comfort. Okay, so let's do these two. Down arrow, side arrow. Down arrow, blue down arrow is $8.98, which is a brown, I think. Yep. Brown. And then there's a few right here. I don't know if I dare. I should have done the other arrow first because it was only the one. Okay. A 
few here, so might as well get them done. Well, for a day that it was supposed to rain all day, it's actually quite nice, which is good. So hopefully my daughter remembered I got my grandson like a chalkboard just from the dollar store. And I want her to take a picture of him in front of the school that says like grade one on the chalkboard. We didn't do it for kindergarten, I'm sad. <laughs> I bought the chalkboard within, I think it was the next day that he started school and I said, okay, you need to do that and she never did. So she said she was gonna make sure to do it this year. So when she gets here, I'm gonna make sure that she, she's got it done this year. At least if we have from grade one to Grade 12, because I'm a scrapbooker, so. I love things like that. Oh, there's a lot there. I don't think I'll do all this. I think I'll stop here. I'll just do that other arrow, and then I'm gonna stop. It must be close to an hour. And I got done what I wanted done that whole section. I'm just going to do that red arrow, which is uh, 700. Okay. 700. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to stop it here. And then next time, I think... I'm going to start from the bottom, I think, because up here it's all just three tens. I know I usually end with three tens, but I just got a few things to do today. So um, I think next time we'll do kind of this section here and I'll bring in some three tens and try to get that done. We are getting closer to getting this painting done. I'm excited. And that's it, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.